Pushamo is a fast-paced Tetris-like arcade game, described by its developer as a radical game of skill and strategy, and the first screen that meets the player informs you of the following simple but awesome concept that is Pushamo in its totality. Push blocks, form squares, or die trying. And to start this off, I can say as much. This game is a hidden gem and I find myself being very positive already from the tutorial with the sweet music and the beautiful and magnificent old school graphics. The aesthetics are absolutely spot on and the gameplay is, as the developer states, a game of skill and strategy. You push blocks within the limits to form squares to get points and if the blocks are outside for too long you will die. And you will die a lot while trying. Pushamo is both infuriating and stressful, but in a good and awesome way and not in a way that makes you want to murder the developer, but in a way where you fail and want to try again and again and again and again and again and again. I fail and I fail and I fail and yet I keep coming back for more. There are a handful of different modes in Pushamo. First off is Arcade Mode, where your first option is Point Rush, where you'll need to rack up 4000 points to unlock other modes. And it's not a small and easy feat, you'll have to get well acquainted with the game before you get there. After obtaining 4000 points, you unlock Point Frenzy, where you start the game at level 9, which naturally means an increase in difficulty with faster moving blocks. Here you'll also find Endless Mode, which is, well, endless, and you can also play something as cutely named as Sendless Mode, which is a relaxed experience where you play at your own pace. You also have Challenge Mode, which is push -a -mo, but with some minor rule changes. For example, Snake, which is, well, Snake. It's the same game, but you have to follow the snake rules, meaning that your tail grows longer for every time you clear some blocks, which in itself messes with your mind quite a lot after you've been playing the normal mode for a couple of hours, as you most likely will find yourself either trying to move into your tail, or even trap your head, meaning that you will die. You got turn-based, which is, well, turn-based. You got instant gravity, where your blocks immediately falls in its place. You got crash mode, where each clear generates an indestructible square that will mess with you. You got opposite day, where you die if you clear blocks. You got claustrophobia, which is a very small grid to operate on. You got something called companion cube, where you have to have your heart-shaped friend with in every clear, or you won't get any points, and so on. And there's also a puzzle mode where you have a bunch of blocks and will have to use your smooth and big brain to try to accomplish a perfect clear, which isn't as easy as one might think. And if you have a friend or a loved one, there's also a two-player co-op mode to have loads of fun with. You can play this game with a keyboard, which I did in the beginning, and it worked just fine, but after a while I hooked up my controller and it was a bit easier to reach higher scores, so I'd say a controller is recommended. Pushamo was developed by solo developer Bean Borg and released in October 2020 and is available through Itch.io for Windows, Mac and Linux for 4.99 US dollars. And there's a demo available if you want to try it out before buying. There's a lot of adapting and overcoming in Pushamo and I've had a great time playing it. It's a sweet piece of gaming that I highly recommend to anyone that loves using their brain and challenging themselves under pressure. It's games like this that makes me love the indie scene, and the score ends up on 8 out of 10. Peace out, people.